Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome kind of back to Worship Gunner 2, but today we're going to be starting EL2 on the PlayStation 2 version of Worship Gunner 2. So I tossed around in my mind which uh, of these Naval Ops games I wanted to do the EL2 playthrough on first, and I was going to do them in the same order that I did the EL1 playthroughs, you know, as far as which game, comes, which game I would do first, but I kind of figured that this was the most anticipated one uh, out of them, so we're doing this one first. Um, and, uh, yeah, we have literally not even done the first mission of EL2, but we will be doing that today. And we're going to be trying to go for the Brown Path, or Brown's Path, mainly because, uh, the Twin Hole Battleship is only available as a pickup on a mission that is exclusive to her path. Though it is very late in the game. But it will be very, very helpful in defeating... Uh, some of the bosses at that stage of the game. So we will be trying to go for Brown's path and Hopefully I don't screw this up. So let me uh, it's time to look at. Oh, yeah uh, I forgot we had these names on the ships. Hey everybody. Uh, oh, yes yeah. before I forget Per request of this person belly weight 48. We are gonna change the name of the ship to Maya per their request um, Change name. Oh boy buttons 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 delete all of that, we're gonna go to this, and this, and that one, and that one. There we go. Okay, now that that's done, now I'm gonna look at our battleship and see what we have on it, because I don't honestly remember that well. It was a long time ago. Oh wow, we're still using the 50.8s on this guy too. Man, I didn't know we were still only using 50.8s at this point of the the game. Weird. I'm usually straight for the 61 centimeters. Well, I mean, if it was working before, it's probably still fine, right? Let's see, we have one ram, a couple signal flares, some Azrox, chaff grenades. Uh, let's see, what about systems? What do we got here? Oh, it's nice to be able to read everything again. <laughs> it's all in English. It's beautiful. Oh, I missed this. Okay. Um... I mean, other than the fact that I have 50.8s and not... Let me double check and make sure there is a undo button. Yeah, there, un R2 is undo. So I'm going to remove these 50.8s and see if I even have three barreled 61 centimeter guns. Which I might not. 61 centimeter. No, only two barrels. Okay. Well, that's why I guess I was still using those. Um, so in that case, we'll just put those back on. And leave them there for now. What about aircraft? How are we doing on helicopters here? We have an AS-332L. I'm going to switch these uh, categories, though. I want you in the B category. Whoops. I want to switch you and you, and I'll put you in the A category. Like so. There we go. So that way it's consistent with what I had on the PSP version, and I don't get all confused. What uh, hull do we have here? Options? Stats? Hull is six. Okay, so we're pretty much exactly where we left off in the PSP version, which is actually kind of crazy to think about. Um, yeah, this is, uh, wow. I didn't know we were doing almost the exact same thing on the PSP. I, that was all subconscious. We subconsciously did the same thing on the PSP that we did here at the end of this playthrough, except I had 61 centimeter guns on that thing. But, uh, yeah, wow. That's the similarities are striking. Okay, well, we're just gonna for now we're just gonna run with the 50.8. That'll be good enough, especially for his first two missions. Um, but let's go ahead and get started here and try to get on Brown's path. I'm gonna leave dialogue in uh, because uh, I don't know exactly what will be new and old. But since there's no voice acting, it won't be um, it won't take as long to get through the dialogue. Because I'm probably just gonna go through it quickly and then let you guys uh, let you guys pause and read if you feel like you need to. My headset is going bad, and uh, I can't actually hear most stuff all that well right now. Is it working again? Hold on. I apologize. Okay, yes, there it goes. It's fine. I've had this headset for a couple of years, and it's finally going bad. It took a long time, though. 
Uh, let's see, Ezrox on you, you, and all of you. Oh wait, no, let's not do that. Because part of Brown's path is not sinking too many enemy ships in this first mission. So we actually don't want to be sinking absolutely everything. Whoopsies, that's not the button. That's the button. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to get used to these. So, one of the differences, one of the most noticeable differences between the PSP version and the PS2 version is the auto-reload system. So, in both, in the end of the PSP version, Let's Play, and here we have auto-reload system beta, but these are 50.8s, um, and you could compare the, the 50.8s from the PSP version with auto-reload system beta in one of those videos, whichever one we we're using that combination in. But watch this fire rate compared to that. It's definitely faster. It's not like blindingly faster, but it is definitely faster. Um, and it's even more crazy with uh, with uh, what's it? Uh, it's the auto reload system gamma. That's it. Just had to sneeze there. <clears throat> I had to wait until I could mute the mic, though. Alright, so it feels a little weird to be back on the PS2 version of this game. Um, and I hope that the quality and everything is going to be okay. I really, really hope so. It looks like the quality is still worse in the recording than it is on my screen, which is annoying, but I don't know what else I can do. I don't know what else I can do about it. So... Yeah, and uh, we're just gonna try and leave here. Um, this, uh, as far as trying to get on Brown's path, the first mission is pretty much the exact same. Don't sink most of the enemy ships. Try not to sink any if you can, unless you absolutely have to. And just do the objective, follow these guys out of the sector through the necessary area. The second mission is where things get different. Um, as far as path selection. Oh yeah, also, later on today, um, at noon Eastern Time, there will be a new episode of a Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign mission, because uh, on Wednesday, which, as I'm recording this is today, but as you guys are watching this was yesterday, um, they released uh, uh, some campaign deal, well, big DLC in general for Star Wars Battlefront 2, and part of that is um, campaign missions, a few campaign missions. So the first of those campaign missions will be going up later today at noon Eastern time. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Other than that, we got our rewards and stuff there. The rewards are pretty mediocre for, you know, the point of the game that we're at here. And a uh, big wall of text with... Uh, no voice acting. You don't want you don't want to hear me try to voice act this. That won't go very well. And I think that's it, so we'll fast forward there. Alrighty. Uh, Mr. Continuity, yes. Let's do a little bit of uh, this here. 
I attempted to tape my headset fixed, uh, or tape it together so that the wire would stay where it's supposed to, but it has not uh, proven to be as foolproof of a repair as I would have liked. <laughs> Dragon's Lair, Japan. Commander Scuba, what's going on here? Will can flee attack us, they can invade fugitives. Defense Force insurgents are here. Why are they doing that? It's crazy. Kimizuka fleet to join them. Kimizuka, who's that? One of the fleet commanders here, the man who ordered your internment. They had a plan to turn your king and his administration over to the insurgent forces in the chaos of the attack. Also, after having played on the PS3 on the PSP for so long, everything is a lot bigger now, and it's it's very different to be able to see everything so large. <laughs> Ramamagi, Commander Sakuba, thank you very much. No need to thank us. What you need to do is hurry up and get out of here. Kimizuka fleet is already starting to seal off the local waters. My crew is busy defending the area, but I honestly don't know how long they can hold it. I doubt they're launching this attack just to pick up a few people either. Best to have Sakuba ship guide you until you reach international waters. Why are you doing all this for us? Legally dependent people from Ally Country, even worse, we sold out the country's king. This is a disgrace to all of us, Navy men. I need to get back to my crew quickly now. I wish all of you safe passage. Keep yourself too, safe, too. Better hurry, too. Think you can keep up? Yes, instructor. Okay. Here we go. Quick briefing. Damage or more chips more serious than I imagined. Let's just be happy this fleet's still around. Uh, status Royal Guard Main Fleet. Appear to be breaking through the enemy blockade under Amagi's lead. We're all support they can get, you know. I hope you're ready for this. Anyway, how about we destroy their radar facilities and cut down the pursuer's search ability? Can't go tapping, attacking, into it doesn't matter right now. Your task is help Rogar escape safe as possible. Besides, they're the ones who struck first. I doubt they'll be filing any complaints. Alright then, can you tell us where the radar installation is located? The most vital ones are here. Destroy them. Should have no. Uh, should have trouble keeping track of ship on open sea. Uh, a fair amount of time before they can be back online. After destroying radar, head south and break through the blockade. I'll support your escape with my ship. Make sure to stay ahead of me. Uh, Alright, ready for some live ammo training then. We'll engage in battle immediately after departure. All hands prepare to leave port. Okay. So in this one, as opposed to following Sakuba around for five minutes or more, depending on how lucky you get, you actually just need to go straight south through all of the enemy ships without sinking them. Without sinking them, the FAQ says. Now, I don't know how strict that rule is for the actual ending up on Brown's Path, but, uh... Yeah. I'm just gonna be very careful not to sink any of them. Just to be safe. Whoopsies, that's a ram missile. I don't want to fire that. I'll take that funds crate, though. Not that it's gonna... Whoopsies, that's not how you do that on the, <laughs> on the PS2 version. Uh, let's see, we can probably just, yeah, I mean, whoopsies, wrong button again. Oh, I'm going to be doing that for a little while here, guys. I mean, look at this rate of fire. It's crazy. I just love this rate of fire. It's so good. I, I got to stop doing that. <laughs> I will learn eventually. This is the first episode of the, of this new series. I need to, give me a break here, guys. Let's hit all of these things. There we go. And then those ones over there, which we can actually hit right now. Uh, we already got the treasure here on this mission, so we don't need to worry about that. Which reminds me, actually, we could have gotten some good parts from that last mission if I wasn't trying to end up on a specific path, uh, which of course I am right now. So, yeah. Ooh, that's a big looking battleship. What is that? I can't see it that well from here. Uh, I don't know, we'll probably be able to see the name of it momentarily. Oh my goodness, I just remembered, we're going to be able to see the names of ships now. <laughs> cool. No more guesswork. Well, whatever it is, it's fictional because it has lasers. Or it's a modified version of a real ship. That kind of looks like uh, BBH. Okay, 
So it must be one of the, like the the planned but never built H class battleships of uh, Hitler's time, I would assume. Well, it does have the the germ. This game's equivalent of the German symbol on the front. So I guess that's exactly what it is. Yeah, we did it. And then we just go ahead and leave like this, and that should put us on Brown's path. This is where things actually get different from Sakuba's playthrough, if uh, you're interested. So in case you noticed the oddly slow frame rate there and the way some of the dialogue was moving fast, that wasn't me clicking any of that. That was a a automatic running cutscene there. So, but that is um, pretty much the first difference that you'll see um, between the characters' paths. So uh, yeah, and let's go ahead and save like this. There we go. Far E-80, submarine in distress. Bonin Islands. Ooh, good, straight to the briefing. Made a call one hour ago, signal has been sent from U-513. Republic of Germany? Yeah, Republic of Germany uh, scientists on board staying in Wilkia on a technology exchange mission. According to their signal bearing and scout plane reconnaissance, German sub is moving underwater 70 miles northeast of our present position. Uh, scout has also reported that insurgent destroyers are closing in on the U-boat. So they're after the submarine, not us. Uh, from our flagship, order to rescue the German submarine's crew. Alright, set course northeast. We go in and get the German crew. That's that's southwest, but okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. Eh. I mean, I know that was two missions, but it's also a pretty short episode. So let's go ahead and do this one too, and then we'll call it an episode. Also, those two missions were very much just like set up missions for uh, you know getting the correct path chosen. So let's, yeah, just go ahead and do this real quick. This is a pretty short mission, or at least it will be with uh, this ship. So if we go with our Azrocks, we'll fire one at this guy, and one at that guy, and a few over around here. Is that one enough for you? Not quite. So we'll fire another one at you, and another one at you. Confirm location of the submarine, set the signal. It's, maybe its propeller is broken? It's advancing at a pretty slow speed. Oh, huh, maybe. Just firing a ton of missiles at every submarine I can see around here. Uh, just because. Just to make sure they are going to go down. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I don't have to do the crazy um, hold left on the D-pad and press triangle thing to zoom in anymore. Because now I have two analog sticks. And, and, and four shoulder buttons, two on each side. It's great. Alright, speaking of that, I can also... Whoops, I think. Yeah, there we go. I can zoom out with uh, that same analog stick. As rocks. There's one there, and then there should be, yeah, I thought so. Launch several missiles at each submarine. That's not the right button. We want this guy here. 
So we fire at these destroyers. Also, maybe it's just my imagination, but I feel like firing delay is also more effective here than it is on the PSP version. It sure seems to be. But again, that could just be my imagination. Ta-da, we did it. And let's go back real quick because we want to get these survivors. And uh, we already have the treasure from EL1, so that's not a big deal. Um, let's see. Oh boy, it's going to take me a while to get reaccustomed to PS2 controls. We've already sunk everything, and our helicopter got that one fun crate. Oh, wait, more reinforcements. Alrighty, well, in that case, we're going back. Anything? Can I, can I, can I target them yet or not quite? I guess not quite. Uh, let's get my helicopter back here. And then, let's see, let's see, hello, oh, there we go. Valerian. Is that a real battleship? I've never heard of that, ever. It might not be a real battleship, but it could be, a, like, a paper ship? I don't know. Like one that was designed and never built? Maybe? Never heard of that, though, ever. Oh, I love this rate of fire. I missed this from uh, the PSP. Uh, I missed this from the PS2 version um, that we were deprived of for playing the PSP version for a while. Oh, let's get some chaff up here. Where's your lead ship? There it is. And let's just go absolutely insane with the cannons, like so. Nothing too interesting over there, just an ammo crate. Get these signal flares up. Oh my goodness, that's even faster than the PSP version. <laughs> because, you know, when in doubt, just fired signal flares at a ludicrously fast rate. <laughs> Probably do something similar with chaff, right? Pretty close, yeah. Alrighty, well, anyways, there's that. Let's, uh, oh, it's not on the bottom anymore. Withdraw, that's the one. Yeah, there we go. Let's leave the, area. the insurgent forces have given up the chase. The submarine appears to be surfacing. All right, prepare to link up with the sub. Hey, we did it. I need to up our difficulty to normal so we can start getting S ranks, EL2 S ranks, which will be even better than EL1 S ranks, of course. Guided particle gun two, just for an A rank. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Some distress is complete surfacing. All right, transmitter ship's name, affiliation, current status, standard code. Uh, approach them slowly from the stern. Make sure all of our guns are pointed upward. I'll go down to the deck. Roger, be careful. I hope they'll believe us. Hello. I'm captain of the ship. You've been through quite a calamity. I'm Commander Ernest, Ernestine Brown. Just say Brown. Uh, technical officer, German Republic Army. The crew has no desire to fight you. We surrender or request you treat us according to the Geneva Convention. They think we're part of the Imperial Forces. I cannot carry out your request. As I stated in my transmission, we are on the run just like you. In other words, the Wilkian Force is not currently a single cohesive unit. You still want our assistance? You should be able to seek refuge with the Wilkian Force behind us, I think. No, I think I'll ask for your ship's support. We were unable to find previous attack by the destroyers inviting. Anna Brown and her crew of 23. Only 23, huh? Hereby request permission to come aboard. Permission granted, Commander Brown. Uh, I wish I could say welcome, but the situation isn't quite as rosy as that. Either way, welcome aboard. I feel like I thought I thought for sure a sub would have more than just 23 people on it, but mm, well, these are kind of like at this point of the game, we're talking like World War II era subs. But even still, like only 23? Is that it? Seems surprising. Also, this is your other confirmation uh, that you're on Brown's path. You get mission 93. Any mission that ends in a three is Brown specific. So. Yeah. Captain, we got something on radar. What is it? A group of advancing ships. Looks like a fleet of insurgent destroyers. Guess they won't let us get away that easily, huh? Lieutenant, what is the estimated time of contact? Actually, they're heading southwest. They don't appear to be pursuing our fleet. What are they up to? We're also getting a weak signal on sonar. A number of submarines seem to be diving deep below. Captain, the enemy is probably pursuing those U-boats. What do you mean, Dr. Brown? There are other submarines that escaped from Wilkia, like ourselves. I believe they are what the enemy is chasing. I see. Please protect submarines. Let's see what we can do. Lieutenant Nagi, contact flagship. Yes, sir. Dr. Brown, keep in mind that it will be very difficult to shake off the enemy with that many submarines around. I understand. If you can get close enough to the subs, I can persuade them to board this ship. However, you'll have to stop all engines until all of their crews have been rescued. I'll do the best I can. 
All stations begin rescue of German submarine crews. Yeah, and that will be next time. Okay, so that will do it for this episode of Warship Gunner 2 EL2. So I hope you guys are excited for the new playthrough on Brown's Path of this game. We get to see some new story stuff. But uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.